Hi, everybody. We are Maureen and Rob, a.k.a. The Stromads. Thanks for tuning in. Rob and I are road trip lovers. Whether it's a 3,000-mile trek across the country or a 50-mile loop in our own state, you can bet we're going to find some off-the-beaten places of interest. Join us today as we take a drive through beautiful Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Along the way, we visit nine covered bridges and some gorgeous country roads. Before we go any further, though, please subscribe and ring that bell for updates. Now let's go. Our drive starts out at the old Iron Hill Road in Chalfont, Pennsylvania, at the Pine Valley Covered Bridge. Built in 1842, this bridge is the second oldest covered bridge in Bucks County. There's a nearby park with walking trails and ample parking. Spend the day, have a picnic, and enjoy the scenery. As we take you into Covered Bridge Park, let's talk about covered bridges. At one time, there were about 12,000 covered bridges in the United States, with most of them built in the 1800s. Unfortunately, the account has dwindled to about a thousand left standing. Weather, vandalism, fire, and population have taken a toll on these structures. Today, there are 209 bridges, covered bridges, in Pennsylvania, with 12 of them located in Bucks County. Our next stop is about 10 minutes down the road to the South Percocy Covered Bridge in Percocy, Pennsylvania. Built in 1832 and spanning 93 feet in length, the South Percocy Covered Bridge once crossed the Pleasant Spring Creek. Unfortunately, the bridge was condemned to traffic in the late 1950s, and in an effort to preserve the bridge, the Percocy Historical Society moved the structure to dry land in nearby Lenape Park. In 2021, Hurricane Ida blew through and moved the bridge off of its abutments and further damaged the bridge. You can see it through the protective fencing. Above the entrance is a famous sign which reads, $5 fine for any person riding or driving over this bridge faster than a walk or smoking cigars. Further up the road is our next stop. Moods Covered Bridge in Percocy. Moods Covered Bridge is the second most highly used covered bridge in Bucks County. The structure receives about 2,000 crossings a day. Unfortunately, the years haven't been kind to the Moods Covered Bridge. Heavy use and several truck accidents have led to some much needed steel reinforcements to keep this bridge intact. In 2004, the Moods Covered Bridge was almost destroyed by arson. Thanks to PennDOT, they have built this replica bridge to preserve history and tradition. There's even a piece of the old burnt bridge incorporated into the structure today. Let's head to Quakertown, about 10 minutes up the road for our next stop, Sheard's Mill Covered Bridge. This bridge spans 130 feet over the Tohickon Creek. Covered bridges were often built near mills as a convenience to local farmers. Sheard's Mill was used for grain and apples. Although no longer an operating mill, it is on the National Register. It's a beautiful area situated next to the Tahican family campground. That is a hidden gem. So why exactly are these bridges covered? Some say they were built for courting couples to be able to steal a kiss out of the view of nosy onlookers. As romantic as that sounds, covering the bridge was more practical as it's built to protect the bridge's structure. A wooden bridge only has a lifespan of about 20 years. The pitched roof over the bridge allows the melting snow to slide off into the creek below and protect the bridge from weather and extending the life expectancy to of about 100 years. For me, I'm sticking with the Kiss and Bridge story.
Let's head up to Next Covered Bridge. It's about 15 minutes up the road in Springfield Township. This treasure was built out of Hemlock in 1873. It spans 110 feet crossing Cook's Creek. Many of the covered bridges in Pennsylvania are painted red and white for a specific reason. Farmers often produced this protective paint, often made out of dirt, linseed oil, rust, and even animal blood to shield the barns against the elements. The red paint helped keep the, the barn warm in the winter months. The paint was inexpensive to produce and making it a natural choice to paint the bridges. The white doors at the opening is to help with the visibility. I think the red and white looks inviting and traditional, and I'm not sure if a graffiti look or a more colorful palette would work on these bridges. Do you? Thirty minutes up the road to Upper Black Eddy is the Allerstown Covered Bridge. Originally built in 1832, this bridge is about 101 feet long. In 1985, the Allerstown Covered Bridge was reconstructed using original materials where possible, cleaned and refurbished. A unique feature of this bridge are the low windows on each side near the middle of the bridge. It's important to note that west of the bridge is a one-way road leading to the top of the hill. This road is not for the faint of heart and is closed during the, the winter months. Don't get stuck. The ride through Bucks County is simply gorgeous. There's a lot to see and a lot to do. You can certainly make a beautiful afternoon out of it. In the fall, the foliage is incredible when you come through here as the leaves change. There's wineries, taverns, restaurants, and parks, all for you. Just a few minutes away is the Irwinna Covered Bridge in Irwinna, Pennsylvania. Spanning only 56 feet makes Irwinna Covered Bridge the shortest in the land. Our next stop is the Frankenfield Covered Bridge in Tinicum, just five minutes away. Frankenfield is the longest covered bridge in Bucks County, spanning 130 feet across the Tinicum Creek, only two miles from the Delaware River. Back in the day, this area was known for its abundance of turtles and leeches. Stories are told of the locals collecting leeches and selling them to the Philadelphia doctors for bloodletting, a therapy used to cure certain ailments. Our final stop is in Pipersville, Pennsylvania at the Cabin Run Covered Bridge. Cabin Run Covered Bridge crosses Cabin Run Creek. There are no windows or openings in this bridge making it very dark. Perhaps this is why it was a favorite hangout for the Doan Boys, a notorious gang of loyalists during the Revolutionary War. Or maybe it was just a favorite kissing bridge. Thanks for riding along with us. Remember to like, share, and comment, subscribe. We'd love to bring you on more great road trips.